Hi, I'm Dave Sullivan, District Attorney for the Northwestern District. Welcome to our Northampton office that serves the citizens of Hampshire and Franklin counties in the town of Athol. Hi, my name is Steve Gagney. I'm the first assistant district attorney here at the DA's office. And on a daily basis, I oversee our superior court unit where some of the most serious felonies are prosecuted. The cases in Superior Court range from drug trafficking cases to homicides, the most egregious sexual assault cases, and other serious and violent felonies. These cases represent some of the most damaging and impacting cases for members of our community, and we do our best to bring a measure of justice to each and every person touched by serious crime. We hope that through our work, we can help to repair damaging effects of violent crime in our community and ultimately make Hampshire and Franklin counties and the town of Athol a safer place to live. I'm Jeremy Bucci. I'm Chief Trial Counsel at the Northwestern DA's office. Uh, in this office, we have a two-pronged approach to drug prosecutions. In the first instance, we look for community partnerships that are designed to uh, minimize drug abuse in this community uh, and where necessary uh, rehabilitate those that are drug addicted. We also have uh, the second prong of, of our approach is to uh, thoroughly investigate allegations of criminal uh, drug trafficking in our community and hold those uh, people that we find to have been trafficking in drugs and poisoning our community for profit accountable in the courtroom. My name is Rosemary Tarantino. I'm uh, the supervisor of the district courts. The district court is where the majority of criminal cases are prosecuted. Uh, we handle about 10,000 cases every year. Those cases are handled by 11 different uh, assistant district attorneys in the four district courts that are located in the Northwestern District. Uh, the cases range from minor civil infractions uh, through serious felonies. The real difference between the district court and the superior court is that uh, cases, in, or defendants rather, in the district court cannot be sentenced to state prison. Uh, they can be sentenced only to a local jail or house of correction. Hello, my name is Robin Whitney. I'm the detective lieutenant in charge of the state police detective unit assigned to the Northwestern District Attorney's Office. Our unit investigates all major crimes um, and, or assists with all investigations with major crimes. We investigate all deaths in both Hampshire and Franklin County. We have some very small towns. We are able to provide resources and investigators to those small towns that require our assistance. Hello, I'm Jan Healy, the Deputy District Attorney for the Northwestern District. We also have a number of specialized units in our office, including domestic violence and sexual assault, child abuse, juvenile justice, elder and disabled persons unit, and our appellate unit. My name is Jennifer Sewell. I'm the chief of the domestic violence and sexual assault unit here at the office. Our unit is dedicated to prosecuting cases where individuals have been charged with abusing their domestic partners and individuals that have committed a sexual assault against any other individual. Our unit and all of our members of our unit have specialized training and experience dealing with victims and working with victims of these types of crimes and also holding abusers and offenders accountable under the law. All four of the district courts that we have located in Franklin and Hampshire counties have specialized prosecutors and victim witness advocates in this area and then also we indict uh, the most serious offenders in the most serious cases and prosecute those cases in the Superior Court. If you are a victim of domestic violence or sexual assault, our unit is here to help you. My name is Mary Cachella. I'm Director of Domestic Violence Projects here at the Northwestern District Attorney's Office. If you've experienced violence or abuse at the hands of an intimate partner or spouse, the Sexual Assault and Domestic Violence Unit is here to help. We have specialized prosecutors and advocates that work closely with our local police, dispatchers, advocacy programs, and the courts to bring you a coordinated response to sexual assault and domestic violence. We also have several prevention programs. We have a domestic violence intervention project that offers victims an immediate response when a victim calls the police. We have an aware alarm project 
that offers increased safety for victims and their children in the home. And we also have a high-risk offender program that identifies dangerous repeat high-risk offenders who are in need of increased monitoring. So if there's anything that we can do to help, give us a call. The Child Abuse Unit averages one new child abuse case per day, 365 days a year. The Child Abuse Unit's mission is to stop child abuse and child abusers. The best way to do that is to organize a multidisciplinary team of child experts to help with the investigative and prosecution process. So when a report of abuse comes in, what is first done is to organize our team of professionals. That would involve state and local police in both Hampshire and Franklin counties, the Department of Children and Families, whose job it is to keep children safe, and other medical and mental health professionals. The child is initially brought to a child-friendly, freestanding home called the Children's Advocacy Center, or CAC. The house is set up in a way that makes children feel safe and welcomed. The child is brought into a separate room where they meet with a trained child forensic interviewer and they're interviewed just one-on-one -on -one, while the team of professionals watches from behind a one-way mirror. That interview is audio and video recorded so as to reduce the number of times a child would have to be interviewed. There are various aspects of a child abuse investigation and prosecution and there's a lot of people that are required to do that. We have specially trained assistant district attorneys in child abuse. We have family service advocates who will help the child and not a family member through the entire investigation and trial process. We also have other trained uh, people, mental health, medical personnel who are all trained in child abuse. My name is Jamie Parent and I'm the chief of our Elders and Dis Persons with Disabilities Protection Unit. Uh, our unit focuses on investigation and prosecution of uh, cases involving persons who are either disabled or who are elderly. Uh, we often investigate cases with um, elder protective service agencies and civil investigators assigned uh, to agencies who provide services to persons with disabilities. Uh, we also often collaborate with members of the community and law enforcement on prevention programs uh, to prevent uh, crimes against uh, these, this vulnerable population. Uh, if you encounter a situation in which you believe we can offer assistance uh, to either uh, yourself or uh, an acquaintance, feel free to give us a call and we're happy to assist you in any way that we can. Hi, my name's Jackie Gaw. I'm the Director of Victim Services in the Northwestern District Attorney's Office. In Massachusetts, the Victim Bill of Rights establishes that all victims, witnesses, and family members in the case of homicide are entitled to certain rights within the criminal justice system. It is the job of the victim witness advocates in our office to make sure that these rights are delivered to all victims, witnesses, and family members, to make sure that they're provided with all necessary information, and almost more importantly, that all are treated with sympathy, compassion, and respect. In the Northwest DA's office, our advocates on a daily basis are in the district courts, the superior court, and the juvenile court, assisting victims who often find themselves in this very intimidating and frightening system. We have to ensure that victims have a voice and that their voice is heard. Our advocates work as a team with the assistant district attorneys as all cases make their way through the system in, an, in the hope to ensure that everyone is heard and that they're treated with respect. I'm Thomas Townsend, Chief of the Appellate Division. When the defendant is convicted at trial, he or she has the right to appeal to a higher court, either the State Supreme Court, known as the Supreme Judicial Court, or more typically the Massachusetts Appeals Court. A transcript is produced of the trial, and after that is done, both sides will have an opportunity to write a legal brief detailing why they believe they should prevail on appeal. After the briefs are prepared, the court will schedule an oral argument in which both sides will have 15 minutes to present their arguments before a panel of judges, anywhere from three to seven judges. Usually within four months of oral argument, the panel of justices will submit their decision, and certain decisions are published in case books to serve as precedent for future cases. 
My name is Yvonne Pesci, and I'm chief of the juvenile unit here. Uh, juvenile court is a very different and unique court than the adult court system, mainly because the legislature has told us, and we have to follow those rules, that juveniles deserve privacy, they deserve confidentiality, and they deserve the right for a second chance. That's one of the reasons why our juvenile unit focus is on prevention in addition to court work and trial work when necessary. My name is Liz Mulcahy. I'm a community prosecutor in the Juvenile Delinquency and Prevention Unit. One of the programs that I'm involved with is the Diversion Program. The Diversion Program provides an opportunity to first-time offenders under the age of 17. Uh, many of the youth that participate in the Diversion Program complete um, educational programs, uh, attend counseling, uh, participate in community service, and pay restitution where necessary. Uh, once a juvenile has completed the diversion program, their case is dismissed and their record is preserved. Another program that I'm involved with is the Schools Where It's At program. The Schools Where It's At program seeks to work with families, students, schools um, in enhancing attendance. Um, the program corresponds with families where children are having trouble attending school um, and meets with families to help uh, provide a bridge to attendance at school. In consumer protection, what we do is try to help consumers resolve their problem with the business through mediation. Then in turn, we work with the Attorney General's office in Boston. But you don't have to wait until you have a problem to call us. If you're thinking about hiring a contractor, if you're thinking about buying a car, a new or a used car, call us and we can review your rights with you. And if you, for example, get a letter like um, this one I have from the Australian Lottery and they tell you that you win a million dollars, but you don't really remember entering that contest, call us. Hi, my name is Yana McClure and I'm the Community Outreach and Education Director. My main role is to help educate the community on the preventative measures that we do in terms of preventing crime, uh, provide safety trainings in the schools, work with school administrators, and of course work with our community partners and co Some of the other uh, areas that I work with are with the Youth Advisory Board where I work with students, um, primarily high school students, going in and mentoring students in elementary school on internet safety, as well as our Citizen Advisory Board, which is made up of citizens from Franklin and Hampshire County and the town of Athol. And we get together and discuss uh, many of the items that or issues that concern uh, the citizens of those areas. Thank you for joining us on our tour of the Northwestern District Attorney's Office. We live in a beautiful and vibrant area. And it is our mission to make sure that your community, family, and neighborhood is safe and secure.